Hi, Sarah here from Core Exercise Solutions. And today we're going to look at foot and ankle mobility and how it affects the entire kinetic chain. All right, so some people think my hamstrings are tight, my back is tight, and in reality, it's just the bottom of their feet that's tight. It's affecting their entire posterior kinetic chain. All right, so the entire back of their body. So if one part of you is tight, it's gonna make the rest of you feel like you're tight, okay? So what I want you to do is grab something to roll your feet out with. All right, I grabbed a rolling pin. Um, it's very stable uh, and firm. Racquetballs, um, if they're not too squishy, so brand new ones, uh, lacrosse balls work really well, and golf balls, so something really firm and small, okay? You can also buy special little roller balls to use for this. Okay, so you're gonna start right behind the arch of your foot, and you're gonna roll until your toes flare. All right, so I'm gonna move this back here. All right, so start right behind the arch of your foot, and roll until your toes flare. Now I'm putting about 40% of my body weight, maybe 50 on this leg, all right? So if you need to hold on to something for balance, do that. So you're gonna roll your entire arch. Start right behind the ball of your foot and roll all the way to the heel until you feel your toes go choo, and spread out, all right? So this is gonna help release that. So if you can do this five to 10 times and get everybody to let go and be happy, okay? So just this is gonna make your foot feel fabulous, all right? So let's get that foot loose. Um, don't underestimate how much tight fascia on the bottom of your foot will affect everything else, all right? So including making your hip flexors tight, making your head come forward, okay? I know that's crazy, but the feet have a lot of control over the rest of the body and how the rest of the body moves. All right, so once you release the bottom of your feet, I'm simply gonna have you do a calf stretch, all right? So just step back with one foot. You can push against the wall if you want to. And then I'm gonna have you really try to straighten your calf, okay? Pushing your heel down to the floor and leaning forward. So if you wanna push on something, feel free, okay? Hold that and then let your knee bend, trying to keep your heel on the floor, okay? So we're just moving the entire length of the calf, all right? Good. Now, if that is easy for you, not much of a stretch, you can drop your heel down off of a step, or you can do a downward dog. That gets a whole poster chain. But the importance is, is that you're stretching out your calves, all right, and you're rolling the bottom of your feet, okay? Now, the last piece of advice I wanna give you is an ankle mobility exercise, okay? So for this, you're gonna hold on to a counter or the wall, all right, and you're gonna lean forward, nice and tall, and you're gonna bring your foot in and out, okay? Did you guys just hear my ankle pop? All right, good, so I'm getting some mobility. So what you're doing is you're stretching in your ankle as you go back and forth, okay? So this is giving my ankle side to side ankle mobility. All right, this is gonna help with your hips going side to side, all right? So give that a shot, five or six of those, side to side each foot roll five or six times um you can roll as much as you want if it feels good all right just don't leave bruises on yourself okay all right and then stretch out your calf and let me know how that feels i think your feet will feel tremendously better all right thanks for joining me i look forward to seeing you in the next video